even with a cheat sheet, this week was hard. I went noodle shopping and I took an opportunistic photo. Welcome back to my 52 frames journey and this week I tried my hand at food photography for the challenge levitation. Since levitation is more for the wizarding world and not for us mere muggles, I decided to visit Pinterest a visit and see if they've got any inspiration for me. Soon I came across a website called Expert Photography. With a little bit of hesitance, I decided to take the plunge and buy the Creative Photography Cookbook, since I think that might come in handy again sometimes in the future. Usually I didn't like taking ideas straight up and use it as is. I would try and come use that as inspiration for my own concept. This week, since the challenge worked quite steep already, I decided I'm gonna leave the concept alone and use it as is and only practice the, the technique that they taught me in the book. And boy, it was still so hard. Well, I was new to ramen shopping since that's not something I actually eat. But there were so many different uh, colors and flavors. So I fully went for the aesthetics of the containers. Now deciding which one of the three to use. I wanted the green background, so I wanted a complementary color to make it pop. And now I'm making noodles for the first time. Oh, another set of hands. How many people does it take to make noodles? Well, in our house, apparently two. Now, let's set up the stage. The reason I used it on the ground or set it up on the ground was because I don't have a tripod that really um, goes out very far so this was the best angle. Now let's make the cone for the noodles and in hindsight I could have made the bottom a bit more narrow. I used the bowl so that it could lift the cone a little bit in the middle. It doesn't want to stay there. So, glue gun to the rescue. Still not. Let's dry them out a little bit. There we go. Much better.
Now for some detail. Black pepper, oregano and some chili flakes. Who the hell closed this thing that I can't get open? And final touch, the chopsticks. So in post processing, I just, I tried everything with it and you'll see what I mean. But the green background just felt like a green screen and I just didn't get it right. See what I mean? I even tried sky replacement, but nothing seemed to really work with this photo. Not for a lack of trying though. At this point I realized that if I used another color for the background it might have been a little bit better. And I tried to do it in post as much as possible but the green just kept on coming through. hours later I went back and took another photo entirely. I changed out the background so it wouldn't look like the green screen anymore and just started from scratch. But by then I have lost my sense of humor, patience and will to keep on filming. But I did catch this sweet moment when my little Lego jaw that I used to keep up the bottom I would say or the side paper uh, for the shadow, the moment that thing fell over, I just, everything left me. And I got the sweet moment where Tasha saw I was so over this photo and he went down and picked up the little pieces for me. Isn't he just the best? For those of you who have seen some of my previous videos, about three or four videos ago, I'll add a link in the description, I created a thumbnail for the Rule of Thirds challenge with a little leprechaun that said, I got lucky. And this photo I took this week is exactly what I meant by that. That photo just came easily, whereas usually for these types of photos, I really have to work hard. And it takes a lot of effort to create a photo. And even with three hours, four hours, I lost count on where I ended up and my husband became a bit angry. And in all honesty, I also got quite angry. Is that the photo ended up a little bit meh. Well, if I have to be truly honest, in my eyes, a lot meh. And then I would like to go back to my moon photo, which was super opportunistic. Tashis woke up the morning, opened up the curtains and said, hey, look at the moon. While he went to the loo or made coffee or something like that, I said, then I wonder, I wonder if a plane, because I know where the planes take off, we're close to DXB, Dubai airport. I wonder if a plane would fly past. Luckily, I've got my glasses on my bedside table. So I put them on, have a look and Actually, one flew by while I was watching. So I jumped out of bed, put in my contact lenses, because without them I struggle with my camera, put in my contact lenses, come to sit in my study, not outside because the lens was so cold that it would fog up. None of this was planned. I've actually tried to take this photo in the past with a lot of planning and it just didn't pan out. But this time I just sat in my study in the aircon and sh shot through the window and now I waited for the planes and during the entire time that the moon was in sight because the moon keeps moving as well as the planes take off in different directions only one plane passed so I would have loved the um, plane to be more in center of the moon if I have to be honest but hey that's my stamp of it's not, not an AI photo. And if you look closely, you can even see the distortion the aeroplane engines created behind it. So the moon is a little bit blurry there. And I was actually so excited about this photo. Was the moon photo a better photo? Absolutely. 
Could I have used it for the weekly challenge? Probably, but it didn't feel like that was the challenge. I mean, the moon is up there and the plane, but that stuff that's usually up there. It felt like the concept and the theme was to challenge you to create an optical illusion. And I spent way too much time on that damn noodles to waste the photo altogether. Bottom line, I've got good photos, hard-working photos, nerve photos, and many times bad photos, if I have to be honest. And I think my noodles falls into that category. I have to redeem myself at some stage and try to retake it and see if I can do any better. But challenges like this keeps me in practice. And then when the odd opportunity presents itself, I am ready and in practice to capture that moment. And it increases my chances of good photos so much more. Well, that was a lot of rambling. But in any case, as always, thank you for watching. And join me in my next 52 frames challenge where I have to photograph transportation.